the economics class. The Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger, are singing about being cold. And today, we have two uh, international students from China who are, in the, who are attending out of breath who are going to go over a question about being cold in terms of an economy, in terms of unemployment. This was the 2018 AP macroeconomic question that they took last Wednesday, uh, question number three. So I want to introduce you to our, our two international students from China, Michael and David. All right, so. Uh, for our question, um, countries face trade trade-offs between producing consumer goods and producing capital goods. Country X takes one hour to produce a unit of consumer goods and two hours to produce a unit of capital goods. Country Y takes two hours to produce a unit of consumer goods and four hours to produce a unit of capital goods. Which country has a comparative advantage in producing uh, in the production production of consumer goods? Explain. So uh, this is the matrix for for your uh, production and um, so uh, for this question we have to uh, calculate the uh, opportunity uh, cost for uh, producing consumer and capital goods for both countries. Um, it's an input question, so we use uh, uh, this one. So we use uh, we have an over with uh, the other uh, uh, product. So one over two is uh, half. So by producing one consumer good, uh, take, uh, your the opportunity cost is a half of a, a capital goods, and so we can write like this. If that, and by producing one capital goods, it will be um, two consumer goods for country X. And for country Y, the same thing, two or four, uh, one consumer good is a half capital goods. And um, by producing one capi capital goods, it's four over two, which is um, two consumer goods. So we can see that uh, with the uh, opportunity cost, um, both countries don't have any comparative advantage on um, uh, e either consumer goods or capital goods, and they can just better out by producing themselves better than trade trading. Right. Okay, the following, I'll, I'll read this to you, so you, I, I apologize for not reading earlier. The, the following table shows labor market data for country X, and the numbers are written on the board. You can see unemployed numbers, frictionally unemployed, cyclically, and structurally unemployed, and then also not in the labor force. Question B of number three, calculate the unemployment rate in country X, underlined, show your work. All right. So for this question, we need to know what is the formula of calculating the unemployment rate in the country. And from the table, we can know the employment rate um, number in this country is 180,000. So let's first, let's do the formula. So the unemployment rate is equal to the Unemployed population mm, above the population of the labor force. And since here we're calculating the percentage, we can time this by hand. So in country X, we have 10,000 fictionally unemployed population. Um, 5,000 for structurally unemployed population and cyclically unemployed population is also 5,000. So this three put together is 20,000. This three put together is the unemployed population in the whole country X. And by labor force, what we define is the unemployed and those who are looking for a job or sometimes unemployed but still have the will to work. So we need to put the unemployed population and employed population together. 20,000 plus 180,000 is 200,000. Times 100. Here we go, 110. Times 100 which is 
10%. So the answer of question B is the employment rate in country X is 10%. Very well done, David. Question C goes one further step. It says calculate the labor force participation in country X and again, underlined, show the work. Now let's move to question C. Since now we are looking for the labor rate, labor force participation rate. So basically, we are looking the labor force population in the numerator and the whole population of the country. And here is country X as a denominator. Still, we're going to time this by 100. And from last question, we just learned that the whole labor force population in country X is 180,000 plus 10,000 plus 5 plus 5,000, which is 20,000. 200,000. 200,000. I bet. And now we've learned that from the table, people who's not in the labor force is 100,000. That's, we added that with the 200,000, which is 100,000. This is the whole population of country X. 100. So, let's eliminate all the zeros. We get 2 over 3 times 100 which is approximately 66.6 supposed to be 6666 but it's here just put a 7 here so the answer for question C the labor force participation rate in country C is 66.67 percent David that's excellent and that really, that really tells us something about an economy that what percent of their population is part of a labor force employed and unemployed final question Going back to Michael, uh, draw a correctly, a correctly labeled graph of the production possibility curve for country X with consumer goods on the horizontal axis and capital goods on the vertical axis. Indicate a point on your graph labeled Z, letter Z, that reflects the current level of unemployment. Okay, so here I drew the uh, PPC of this country. Uh, and uh, we are asked to put consumer goods on the horizontal axis and capital goods on the vertical axis. And usually, it, take, uh, it takes uh, it's you know we can a country can produce more consumer goods. So we, this graph looks like this. And uh, for indicating uh, our production uh, currently, um, we, we can see that our um, unemployment rate from number uh, from question B was 10 percent, which is above the natural unemployment rate. So um, this country is producing uh, not at its uh, maximum strength. So um, for this point Z, you can just put it inside of the PPC, and it will be fine. And that will be uh, uh, the level of the current level of uh, output for this country. That that completes that question. You guys did a great job. Before we sign off, do you have any uh, credits to give some of the other students in class that did some posters? Yes. Thanks for Mr. John Powers from Providence College providing us this great poster talking about the employment rate and full employment labor forces. Really good graph. Thank you. Um, also thanks to Tyler Francis, who's a rising junior, uh, rising senior at our school, uh, who did this wonderful poster on uh, uh, on comparative advantage and terms of trade. Thank you so much, and we're so glad that you guys are visiting our, at our school, and we're. So glad that you will be rising seniors and be seniors in our school next year. Thank you very much. Excellent job. All right. Thank you. Thank you.